Hi, I'm Dr. Arthi Rao with the Beacon Center for Infectious Disease. We are specialists who diagnose and treat infections. Today we will discuss a common healthcare associated infection called Clostridium difficile or C. diff. C. diff can cause symptoms ranging from diarrhea to life-threatening inflammation of the colon. It is linked to an estimated 14,000 deaths in the United States per year. This infection most commonly affects people staying in the hospital or long-term healthcare facility and usually occurs after the use of antibiotics. Antibiotics are medicines used to treat many infectious diseases. Many normal and even helpful germs live in our intestines. The helpful germs usually keep C. diff from growing out of control and making us sick. When you take antibiotics to treat an infection, the helpful germs that protect against C. diff are also destroyed, putting you at risk for infection. A person in this situation can get sick from C. diff picked up from contaminated surfaces in healthcare facilities or from a healthcare provider's hands. A patient goes to the doctor's office and is diagnosed with an infection. He is prescribed antibiotics, drugs that put him at risk for C. difficile infection for several months. One month later, the patient breaks his leg and goes to a hospital. A healthcare worker spreads C. difficile to him after forgetting to wear gloves when treating a C. difficile infected patient in the next room. Two days later, this patient goes to a rehabilitation facility for his leg and gets diarrhea. He is not tested for C. difficile. The healthcare worker doesn't wear gloves and infects other patients. Three days following, the patient goes back to the hospital for treatment of diarrhea and tests positive for C. difficile. He is started on specific antibiotics to treat it. Healthcare workers wear gloves and do not spread C. difficile. The patient recovers. If you have recently taken antibiotics, had surgery, or have been in the hospital, you are at risk for developing a C. diff infection. It is important to recognize the symptoms and seek medical care if symptoms occur. Common symptoms of a C. diff infection include diarrhea and abdominal pain or cramps. Other symptoms include blood or mucus in the bowel movements, fever, loss of appetite, nausea, fatigue, and dizziness. If these symptoms develop, call your doctor immediately. Your provider can test your stool for C. diff and if necessary, start you on the appropriate antibiotics right away. Treatment for C. diff infection can include, one, stopping the antibiotic that you were taking when your diarrhea developed, and two, starting a different oral antibiotic that specifically treats C. diff infection. Commonly used oral antibiotics include metronidazole and vancomycin. Antibiotic treatment of C. diff works for most patients. About 20% of patients who initially respond to treatment will have their symptoms return. If this occurs, it is important to contact your doctor. Repeating treatment with the original antibiotic used to fight the infection is usually successful. Some people can have multiple recurrences of the infection. If this happens, your doctor might prescribe longer durations of antibiotics. In rare situations, a patient may require surgery to remove the infected part of the intestine. Many patients ask about using probiotic pills. Right now, there is not enough proof that probiotic pills help prevent or treat C. diff infection. Hand washing with soap and water is the primary way to prevent transmission of this bacteria. Clean your hands often when you are hospitalized and feel free to ask your doctors, nurses, and other healthcare providers to clean their hands if you do not see them do so. Boulder Community Health uses important infection control measures to prevent the transmission of C. diff to other patients. If you are diagnosed with a C. diff infection while in our hospital, we will use contact precautions during your care. Contact precaution means that healthcare providers and visitors will put on gloves and wear a gown when they enter the room. This provides an additional level of protection to prevent transmission of the infection. Once you are back at home, it's very unlikely that you will transmit this infection to anyone with a normal immune system who is not taking antibiotics. 
Still, when you are at home, you should continue to wash your hands with soap and water frequently. Family and friends should do the same. If diarrhea continues, you should avoid using the same toilet as other family members if possible. You can clean bathroom areas with a mixture of one part bleach and 10 parts water. Finally, and importantly, remember to take all of the antibiotics that your doctor prescribed for treating the C. diff infection and notify your doctor if the diarrhea returns. We hope you found this video helpful and that we answered your questions about C. diff infection. If you